Hi everyone. This is Led, your MC host, and it's good to be back. I'm using my English accent today and I hope you like it. I'm pleased to be introducing a new special feature at atlantamusiccritic.com. As you may know, symphony orchestras are big business in the US. According to decade-old data from the League of American Orchestras, there are about 1,200 orchestras in the United States. These orchestras are spread out among the 50 states with every state having more than one symphony. Two-thirds of these orchestras have annual expenses under $300,000 as of 2014, and those with budgets exceeding $20 million represent 2% of all orchestras. It is estimated that these 1,200 orchestras contributed $1.8 billion to the U.S. economy in direct payments for goods and services in 2014 and produced an estimated 28,000 performances, activities, and other events attracting a total audience of 25 million people. According to a recent report, again from the League, classical symphony orchestras receive a majority of their revenues from donations. In 2014, an average of 43 cents of every dollar orchestras received came from contributions while 40 cents came from ticket sales, touring, hall rentals, and other sources of income. A very small percentage of their budgets come from tax dollars, in contrast to most orchestras in Europe. The vast majority of symphony orchestras in the US are non-profit, meaning their costs will generally be higher than their earned revenue. Non-profits stand apart in that they are designed to meet a critical social need, or provide an important service to the community. They are driven by a stated mission, and their success or failure is ultimately determined by how effectively they live up to that mission. There absolutely is a business and financial aspect to doing this, but the business and financial strategies and decisions are always in service of the outcomes, not the profits. Thus non-profits are fundamentally different from for-profit businesses, both in outlook and financial structure. Revenue generated by the 30 largest budget symphony organizations ranges from the New Jersey Symphony at about $13 million to the Los Angeles Philharmonic at about $187 million. In order to operate, most symphony orchestras have administrative offices that usually focus on marketing, development, artistic planning, and operations. Often these vital, behind-the-scenes, offices are mostly invisible to the audience. MC is beginning a series of interviews in an effort to pull back the curtain on orchestra operations. William, MC's inquisitive creator, will explore the costs an orchestra must cover in their budgets, how administrators plan for an uncertain world, the role of fundraising, and strategies for addressing demographic changes. Please be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will not miss an opportunity to go behind the scenes of symphony orchestra operations. And remember, please support MC at patreon.com slash Atlanta Music Critic. This is Laird and keep watching Atlanta Music Critic.